there goes our uh there goes our drone what is he transporting looks like wood I love the little trail you can see behind him. Hey everybody, 8 Josh here and welcome to my Stranded Alien Dawn Robots and Guardians DLC early look. A uh, huge thanks again to Frontier Developments for letting me check out the DLC early. And yeah, so we're gonna be checking out the very first DLC for Stranded Alien Dawn. Uh, it comes with, there's, you get uh, Hope, who's a new sentient android get hostile automated machines, service bots, drones, uh, new survivor, of course, new steam achievements. Uh, on top of the DLC, the base game is also getting a free update. So even if you don't get the DLC, you're still gonna get the free update, which includes multi-story buildings, which is awesome. Delivery drones, futuristic furniture, new weapons, a bunch of quality of life updates. But yeah, so let's go ahead and jump in so we're going to check out the there's a brand new scenario called guardians a small group of rebels rescues the first sentient android named hope from a ruthless robot manufacturing consortium up to three team members seek refuge on a uncharted planet with the outer worlds this is the story of their rebellion their mission safeguard hope until she achieves full sentience that sounds pretty sweet so let's try it and one of my favorite parts is selecting your team of survivors and there is a new survivor henry caldwell is a battle-hardened veteran who defied the stars okay these folks out of there there he is henry caldwell a battle-hardened veteran who defied the stars after the last and galactic war claimed his limbs he emerged stronger with robotic replacements now a cosmic traveler on a quest to reclaim his humanity Henry seeks to touch the galaxy in his own soul once more. His journey is an inspiring testament to resilience and the unbreakable spirit of the human or partly mechanical heart. Traits are he's a close combat specialist, fights twice as fast with melee weapons, antifreeze blood, tolerances to cold and heat are increased by 50 degrees. That's pretty sweet. And it is a gra a gra a graziophobic. Uh, will not harvest or take care of plants and animals in any circumstances. I mean, he's like afraid of plants. I've, I've never heard of a grazophobic. Combat, interesting, construction, as yeah, incapable of farming. So yeah, he's going to be our combat and like he's got high physical, so probably building too. I do have a couple others that uh, I usually like to add to my crew. Since there's only three spots in this scenario, uh, Katina is another one I generally use. Uh, cause she's, she's got pretty high healing, which is good for kind of being our, being our doctor. We'll add her and let's see, having somebody with a high construction would also, or at least high physical will definitely help us out in this this scenario i think we'll go with grayson because he has high construction or fairly high anyway and as well as crafting and he's interested in crafting which means when he does it he actually will increase that skill faster so i think that should be pretty good we've got i think just about everything covered cooking another important one which patina's got it too so i think that should I think that seems like a solid uh, group. And you never know, we might get more survivors. We're going to have an android on our team, too. So let's go. Oh, we're getting shot down. No. Oh, there's our android. All right. Initiating cognitive matrices. All right. 
So first thing I like to do is just make sure we got to get sort of our standard camp up and running to get like a good shelter. Oh, I like that we're like right next to uh, a lake. Actually, let's look at <laughs> hope 9000 happiness 0% uh, energy androids need energy, which they acquire by consuming various substances. Silica Energel makes androids happier than energy than raw energy sources such as liquid fuel, silicon and energy crystals. Prolonged starvation may cause the development of malfunctions, which ultimately lead to the death of the machine. OK, so that's their way of uh, making sure that, you know, you have to quote unquote feed your android. This is a survival game after all. Relaxation. Similar to humans, sentient droids uh, need to relax and enjoy some entertainment. They will occasionally take a walk or sit on a chair and contemplate their existence. Having recreational devices like musical instruments and punching poles will make them happier. Sometimes sentient droids have favorite relaxations and like doing these more than anything else. Okay, so that's also pretty much just like regular human survivors. They have a cold tolerance to a negative 148 degrees Fahrenheit or yeah, down to that and then heat tolerance up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit as plus 20. Uh, opinion on our other survivors. This is initiating cognitive matrices. I just want to see if that they can actually can finish. Maybe you need time to boot up. I don't know. Uh, let's get some people though. We need to get some like sticks. And yes, I do play on the fastest speed because that's just what I am. All right, so we got our initial camp set up. It's nothing special yet, but we've got uh, got a research desk and I got a workbench done. Uh, so the first thing we need to get some research going, because that's definitely going to be a very important. Got to do the lightning rod. Camp management. We are here to stay, but survival is not sufficient. We must come together. Unlocks construction of works. Uh, construction of work areas to delineate restricted zones for work and habitation. Cool, but don't think we need that just yet. And we'll do a uh, spaceship deconstruction, tailoring, and wooden fortifications. And that'll get us for some research for a while. Hope is uh, gonna be our researcher. Oh, let's go ahead and... I don't know if this uh, planet storms. It did rain earlier but we'll go ahead and place a lightning rod all right so we got our lightning rod built and about to get our cook stove excellent Ooh, we scavenge what do we scavenge some boots uh a laser pike let's give let's see grayson we'll give him the laser pike all right we need somebody researching at all times who is our highest grayson but he's doing some other things so okay We'll let him finish his... What is he doing? He's observing. Oh, well, now he's going to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Discovery. Giant... Giant's grass. Decided to call the tall, dense grass giant's grass. Growing and harvesting it won't be too hard and it could come in handy for simple constructions. Okay. All right. Can't... I think we need to make hope our... We can give, give hope a uh, number one on our research. We, we can't advance at all if we don't have anybody researching and moving us forward. Well, that's going to be our android. There we go, just like that. Uh, so we just got unlocked weapon smithing, which is excellent. Uh, ooh, emergency food rations. Yeah, we'll do that. And electric grids be very important. Oh, next we'll we'll definitely do musical instruments because that'll help with the leisure uh, bench presses. Or ben yeah, bench presses. Need strength to endure this hostile environment. Punching poles and mining rocks can contribute strength. Nothing surpasses. Okay, so that actually it's not just a leisure thing, it actually helps them gain strength. Just like just like real life. Ooh, night goggles. Cool. It's been a little while since I've played this game, so yeah, some of this stuff like yeah, last time I played was actually the trading update. 
Okay, here we go. Here's some like the delivery drones and service bots we can uh, eventually unlock, which we'll definitely get to. Battle drones. That's sweet. Black cannon. That's new. Oh snap, a search party just landed. Wait, where did they? Where did they go? Well, there they are. Whoa. Are they gonna be hostile? A G-1000 Assault. Well, yeah, I guess if uh, the, the bot has Assault in its name, that's probably bad news uh, for our team. So, cool. I guess we'll see what happens. So far, they're just standing there. Oh, now they're attacking. Shoot. I'm gonna draft all y'all. I don't even know if Hope will be able to do anything. Attack! Eat him! Oh man. Tina's not doing well. Oh god. Woo! Yeah, Katina and Henry got messed up. Um. We. gonna scavenge these guys though also one of them had a laser pike which we can use and get over there heal Henry you got it Grayson all right so he's on the mend all right I actually had to uh, load a save game because uh, Katina actually ended up dying from after that attack and I was like man I can't have anybody die that soon in the game we only have, we have four people, but only three of them that can really actually do anything. Uh, hope improving. Quick shout out. You rescued me from the whole messy situation with the manufacturer consortium. Are you big time for my existence? And yeah, not great with words, but seriously, thank you. My sentience patterns are still evolving. While not especially useful at the moment, I'm committed to learning and growing. Now the exciting part, I have the capacity to develop a new skill. What should it be? Uh, oh, so this is where we get to give our Android uh, a new skill. So we want to do hunting and fighting, construction, cooking, crafting. Honestly, I feel like hunting and fighting because we need all four people to be able to uh, defend. Okay, so our Android is capable of combat now. Do we have any... So are two of those robots had one had a had a laser pike and two of them had a crossbow that the carbon crossbow where did those go all right so we added some more research here uh, we got some te uh, advanced research desk solar panels and uh, a new thing the delivery drones which I believe these will go out and grab <clears throat> resources and bring them back to our camp. We also got a uh, very basic defenses here set up, some fencing, and then some traps over here. We did just have a another attack recently, um, but we survived. Everybody survived, which is good. Oh, excellent. We also just unlocked construction basics, which means we can start on our house, which is I want to get to because we can now build a uh, multi-story buildings which is awesome all right so if we want to build a house generally I like to use the wood ones because they're pretty you really just need to cut down a bunch of trees but oh i like the little uh little pop-up tutorial here start dragging confirm placement change roof direction roof type f and g roof types you can change the roof inclination that's awesome z and x uh, or mouse button change floor level. Cool. All right. So I think we said, I don't know where the best place to build would be. And I kind of like this little spot. 
but then I kind of also like the idea of having like a little beachfront property. Let's, let's do it right here. All right, so let's go and pause. All right, so first I think what we'll do is kind of just get like a basic structure there. We'll do some steps here, just be our little entryway. We're gonna need lots of trees though. Um, let's get trees, cut those down. All right, we're just getting the last little bit of our roof built here or scheduled to be built anyway. There we go. Oh, we gotta get a door in there. How, how are we gonna enter? If we don't have a door. Which will be nice because then we can move our beds in there. Actually, we can build actual beds and not sleep on uh, like hay mats. Uh, hope is improving again. Quick update for me since we last chatted. I've been on a learning spree. Those old programming limits, ancient history. Soaking up knowledge and experiences like there's no tomorrow, quite the journey. Uh, I've been experimenting from crafting pixel art to whipping up virtual feasts and all over the map. But here's the catch. The more I learn, the more I realize there's still a lot I'm uncertain about. So here I am again, seeking your wisdom. Um, Next skill venture. Crafting might be helpful because we don't really have anybody or like tailor tailoring or doing uh, like creating uh, electronics. Then again, also having somebody else to heal would be super useful. You know what? Let's do crafting and tailoring. I think that'll be... There we go. So now it's no longer, no longer incapable. We can craft stuff, which is excellent. All right, do we still have trees scheduled to cut down? I think so. Cut down all those trees. Yeah, my goal is to, I want to at least get delivery drones, but there's definitely other new things I want as well. There's battle drones. You have to research uh, delivery drones, which we're doing right now, and then laser pistols to unlock those. All right, cool. So we just researched delivery drones. So, uh, well, first of all, what do we need? Uh, four electronics, that's a lot. Two CPU cores, uh, which we don't have. I don't even know that we can actually construct those right now. In fact, I think we need an advanced research core. How many, wait, how many do we have? Oh, we have one CPU core, but I don't think, um, okay, we'll unlock that after we research electronics crafting, which we have up next. So, okay, we'll get those droids built as soon as we have all that. Oh, this is interesting. Katina became guardian of hope. As time passes, my affection for hope grows deeper and more profound. She's become an inter integral part of my life, an irreplaceable presence that I now cherish as my very own daughter. The journey we've embarked upon together has woven the threads of our lives so intricately that I can no longer imagine a world without her in it. Hence, I have made the heartfelt decision to officially adopt her. Oh, well, that's cool. I love all these new interactions with our our little android friend. I love it. Ooh, uh, melding of minds. My friendship with Hope deepens each day and reveals a new aspect of her intriguing nature. Here she possesses a unique ability to access the depths of the human minds. The process can be rather invasive and uncomfortable, yet I can't help but believe that she might be capable of extracting my expertise in a specific skill, leading me to forget what I've learned. Nonetheless, I'm willing to make that sacrifice for the sake of our evolution. I can't help but ponder which skill I should offer up. What do we want to give up? Let's do crafting. I don't know. What is that going to end up doing? I honestly don't know. It didn't tell me what that boosted. 
So I don't know. Okay. I think this will figure it out. Meanwhile, Hope is at intellect five. All this research she's doing. Right. Well, we've got the beds in there. So I think we can, I want to sign owner. I want to get rid of that. Well, at least they automatically went to the beds to sleep. So they'll sleep better in there, but I wanted to disassemble these. Where is the, oh, it's down here. I moved that down here. Okay. It used to all be like in a tab along the side. I don't know if I like it down there, to be honest, but we get used to it. But what I actually wanted to do is build a second level that we could actually use as their like kind of bedroom. That way this area down here, we can put like, we can make like the kitchen and uh, like their little research areas and stuff. Um, to do that, I just start with like a whole room. So we could do this, right? There. Of course, now if we have, we're gonna have some stairs. That'll can we do stairs from the outs or from the inside. We can maybe do a ladder. Can we do ladders from inside? I'm gonna place that there and see what happens. Not really sure. Got another search party just landed. Although there's four this time. Salt droids. Okay. This is very similar to like the other scenarios where like you would just have like random like animals that would spawn and then. You know, a couple of minutes later, they would attack. All right, that attack wasn't too bad. Katina got a little hurt, but I think she'll be all right. Go ahead and scavenge these droids. Oh, Hope is improving yet again. Um, what do we want to, let's see. Um, do construction this time. Here we go. Also, Katina is in a bad way because uh, she has an infection. I don't, do we have any antibiotics? I don't think that we do. That might be a problem. <laughs> that means she'll get an infection, like a worse infection. All right, so we stopped the bleeding on Katina. She's uh, healing. The infection can clear up on its own. We do have antibiotics being researched. I don't think... Yeah, we got to get the turrets out of the way first, and then we'll be able to. Oh, CPU assembly. We're going to add that. And automated turret. Oh, wait, we already have that. So we're going to say we need one of these things down here. Oh, yeah, flat cannons. We need automated turrets. And, ooh, for battle drones we need laser pistols so let's do those next there i want to get some of this i want to get some of this new stuff oh and we finally have enough to get some delivery drones so where do we want to put those somewhere safe probably like over here maybe near like our storage maybe back here how many Four electronics, two CPU cores, 50 metal. Well, we have enough metal for two of those. We have tons of electronics, but only two CPU cores, which... All right, so we'll only be able to, be able to build one to start. But yeah, I want a delivery drone. That's super cool. I think that's, uh, that's Henry, right? Yeah, that's Henry. That's our new guy. Oh, and he just reached construction too. Nice. Oh, cool. Inoperative. Oh. Uh, these need electricity. How about that? There goes our, uh, there goes our drone. What is he transporting? Looks like wood. I love the little trail you can see behind him. Where's he going? Oh, he's getting some of this wood. How much is he able to hold? Transporting a hundred wood. Wow, that's a lot. We also got a search party that just landed. Five droids this time. Be ready, I hope. Katrina's out of action, so... Oh, here they come. Here they come. Attack! Oh, 
Henry's in bad shape. Oh, wait, where'd this guy come? Oh no. That one snuck by our defenses. I didn't even see that one. Man, oh man. All right, so he just needs like four bandages. We've got seven, so should be good. Well, there goes our drone again. He's got more power. I should probably build those solar, some solar panels, but yeah, I can't really figure out the ladder situation. So I just built some stairs and a door to get up to this level, which I thought would be, I don't like, so I know we can raise, that's as far, as far as I can raise it, which is that far. So I'm not really sure, not sure about the ladder situation, but I just thought it would be worthwhile to have like essentially the bedrooms be on the second level. Let's get maybe some nice flooring in here. What do we have the most of right now? I feel like a parquet floor. That'll, that'll get rid of the, uh, the cave dweller because, you know, for survivors, but if they don't have like a nice, a nice home, they'll complain. All right. We got automated turrets researched, which means now we should have some additional things. Oh yeah. We got the flat cannon. Well, this is new. Automated turrets are well suited for engaging both small and large, relatively slow moving tar ground targets. However, they're not affected effective against airborne enemies to address this gap we require a rapidly rotating cannon capable of inflicting substantial damage to aerial targets huh well first thing we we should probably get a cpu assembly because like the flat cannon requires cpus i mean almost everything electronic the battle battle drones the defense bots so we'll get that going Got antibiotics about to be done and the silica energel which is uh, basically food for our android yeah, eventually i want to move stuff closer to our house so i think as i start as we start getting new stuff i'm gonna start building over there whoa you see our drone it was in there in a flash we do it again I guess somebody was already bringing over. That's fine. Um, antibiotics forever. Actually, let's just do until we have 10. Oh, we also already got the silica gel. Cool, cool, cool. So we're working on CPU assembly. Uh, oh, advanced furniture. This is another new one. VR sets. Yo, that's sweet. Let's do some advanced furniture. I really want to get these battle drones. Sounds so cool. Do some brewing. Got to get some more energy storage. Then after that, we'll get refrigerators. I love that. Our little little drone just took the antibiotics from the barrel and brought them over to the storage. That's cool. So the silica gel is crafted on the workbench. We'll do... Do five. What do we need for that? Liquid fuel and silicon. Oh, wait, we don't have any silicon. We should probably grow some. But in the meantime, we should find some to harvest. We're pretty scattered around the map. Uh, we'll go over here, harvest those, and then I'll do another, another little farm plot. Um, oh, melding of minds again. Hope's ability to comprehend and influence human minds is truly remarkable. We've recently discovered that she can extract personal traits from human brains. Contemplating conducting an experiment and offering one of my traits to aid in her development. Nevertheless, I remain uncertain about which one would ultimately benefit us all. Uh, impeccable healer, right? Did that, that didn't get rid of her. Okay, Katina's still got six healing. But Hope's incapable of it, so was that a mistake? <laughs> I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Alright, so Hope is continuing to evolve. Evaluation of sentience completed! 
Scripting new behavior patterns initiated. Greetings. I have reached a pivotal moment in my evolution. My analysis of what it means to be alive has concluded that life is a combination of constant struggle and learning. It's too real, man. It's too real. Uh, I need to learn not just by expanding my intellectual capacity through research, but also by acquiring practical skills in various areas. This journey of acquiring new skills will not only enhance my abilities, but also bring me greater happiness. All right. Well, good for you. Hope we'll need to practice different skills and we'll be happy when she does this. So, does that mean the rest of the skills are on the It does not. Her intellect is going up way high, though. Oh, nice. So we... We have some of the new futuristic furniture. Let's see. Uh, we have a carbon bed, which it kind of looks like it. Does it float? Maybe not. Kind of looks like it does. What else do we have? Um, oh, the table. The tables float, though. So we have large table. Oh, man. We got these fancy chairs that are floaty. How much of this? All of this does it cost? Uh, 20 synthetic textiles and 10 carbon nanotubes. Well, we have 54 nanotubes. What about other things? Um, we got 30. So we could probably do, like, does the bed provide better comfort? Although I kind of want to do the table and chairs just because that looks cool. I don't know. I'm so torn. So many options. Let's do synthetic beds. We'll do one. We only need three, right? We'll place those there. I think we have everything for those. We'll we'll deconstruct. Actually, I forgot you can do this now. Hold on, wait, pause. Pause, pause, pause. I totally forgot this is something you've they updated in the last, like one of the few updates. Is you can go down here to reconstruct. You can change the type without having to like rebuild it. Well, there we go. So anyway, that'll that'll happen at some point. Excellent. Now everybody's got fancy futuristic beds. They do float too. That's awesome. <laughs> they look cool. I mean, they look a little out of place in like a wooden house. If we had like a whole like carbon home to do that, I, that's a something you can eventually research. I don't know that I have any of that available. Oh, there we go. Carbon rooms. You can make super futuristic looking buildings and such. All right. So we got battle drones researched. Excited for this. I'm going to put one over here. I need two CPU cores though. And we also don't have any metal. And get it started anyway. All right, well, we're being attacked by some way stronger bots here. It's the spec op bots. I don't think we're going to be doing very good. Grayson's already dead. Henry's dead. Hope is dead. <laughs> Defeated. We lost because we lost hope. Our nice little home though. It's over. Day two, Henry learned how to grow silicon leaf. Hope learned how to grow broad leaf bush. <laughs> you researched lightning rods. Yeah. The, the thing is with like the the higher end like weapons and electronics is the stuff takes so long to research and takes a long time to craft as well plus you have to get uh like your electric grid set up in order to have like the advanced research and the uh the like soldering table which re all require electricity so I just, I wasn't able to get my drones, like my battle drones constructed quick enough, but I still had a lot of fun with this. This is still one of my favorite games. I have like, 
I don't know, close to a hundred hours. And I'm definitely going to keep playing because I want to, I want to get some more of this, some of the, the like new stuff, the drones and, uh, the new, like, like futuristic furniture and stuff. I want to build all that. So I'm definitely going to keep playing, but I hope you guys check it out. Let me know what you're most excited for, you know, with the robots and guardians DLC or, uh, the free update, you know, free update comes with the multi-story buildings, delivery drones the advanced furniture, all that stuff. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You hit the little bell icon. That way you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I will see you on the next video.